name is Mike Jordan, Vice President and co-inventor here at iToolco. Today I want to talk to you about some of the features and benefits of our wire puller called the Canon 10K. The easiest way to transport your Canon 10K around the job site is simply by pulling your pin and extending this boom uh, to 90 degrees from where it sits currently. Pop that pin out, load in right there, always replace all of your uh, hairpin safety pins. Now you can transport it around the job site easily. Let's start out right here. We want to make this very small and, and be able to fit into tight locations and things of that nature, be, up, be able to fit up underneath switch gear, bus bars and breakers. That's why the head is so small. Um, the other thing is we wanted to have a universal adapter. This universal adapter will fit from inch and a half all the way through four inch by simply adjusting this wing nut right here and sliding this in and out to fit your conduit. Also, this is removable, so you can simply swap it out like this. Now, this uh, universal adapter will work with uh, loads of 5,000 pounds and under. Anything over 5,000 pounds and up to 10,000 pounds, we will use one of our collared adapters. Installing one of our uh, colored adapters is as simply as putting it in from the top, aligning the stud in the hole, then closing the universal adapter so those ears sit nice and tight right there, then simply just tighten up the wing nut and you're ready to make your wire pull. Although the Canon 10K does come with all the adapters you need, 2 inch through 4 inch um, for your heavier pulls, if you're pulling in a 5 or 6 inch conduit, we do have those available comes just like this, got a 5 8 inch nut on there, simply back the nut off, these ears will go in the same spot that the universal adapter goes into, pop your universal adapter out, simply align the threaded stud right in where the um, stud goes, set it in there, and then replace your nut on the back side, uh, getting a good tight fit, and then tighten your, tighten your wing nut up. Um, then you're set up and you're ready for, for a 5 or 6 inch wire pole. Also here at the head we put a really cool uh, flashlight holder. Uh, we're always in dark locations up underneath gear things of that nature. Um, you can makes it easier to see when you're adjusting your adapter. Also when your head comes out some people will flag their rope as it's coming out. Just makes it easier to see uh, since we're installing power anyways. Then we'll move to this point right here we have our um, we have our uh, cinch pins, okay, these cinch pins are just 5 8 inch bolts, they simply slide in, there's a shoulder on there, it goes in through and, and captures nice and tight on there on the, on the nut on the other side, um, but the cool thing is wherever you see one of these cinch pins along the whole tugger, the, the piece of equipment can articulate in 90 degree increments all the way around, so if we want to do a 90 degree pull right here, we can simply set that up. And, be ready for a 90 degree pull, uh, just this pin right here, and we could do a 90 degree pull right out of the side of a can or a piece of gear or, or whatever the case may be. Maybe we're pulling in a transformer, whatever. You can simply move this up and down to match the height of the conduit that's coming in the side. Okay. So the tugger uh, can be very scalable in size. We can make this thing uh, collapsible down to the size of one of the threes or six Ks that's on the market. Simply remove this pin right here, um, take this out, drop it back, and then uh, remove the head um, right here. Everywhere you see one of these bolts, the tugger can, uh, like I said, it can articulate or, or be taken apart and, and reset up. So now that we're scaling this thing down, we can scale it down right here. It's right there. Now we're um, now we're ready to take this up on a scissor lift or a man lift with us. We can adjust a, a universal adapter, whatever size pipe we're pulling through. Since we don't have to anchor it, um, like I said, take it up on the platform lift with you. You can telescope this out. Uh, simply grab one of your other extensions, telescope this out up higher, and go ahead and make your pull that way. Okay. Now we want to talk about the uh, dual cap stands. We have 9 and 18 feet a minute over here at the 10,000 pound side and 20 and 40 feet a minute over here on the uh, 5,000 pound side. 
Now where that's significant for you as a contractor is, if you were pulling a um, 500 foot run of 500 MCM, and you take your old tugger out there at six feet a minute, you're looking at about 83 minutes of run time. While with the uh, cannon here, you can simply start out on the high speed side capstan for the first say 400 foot because the load's not that great, um, and then swap over to the 10,000 pound side capstan when the load uh, gets heavier than 5,000 pounds. So just simply swap the rope over to this side and, and then you're ready uh, to finish up that pull. What used to take 83 minutes now can be accomplished in about 20 minutes with our dual cap stand technology. Okay, one of the other really cool features about the Canon 10K is that a lot of times you'll be in a situation where you need to um, anchor the tugger down or you're in a parking lot or or someplace that you can't really anchor the tugger down because maybe you're in an asphalt situation where you can't drive anchors into it. So what we've done is we've actually positioned this thing right here, remove the hitch. This right here will slide into the receiver hitch of your truck. Then the other portion goes right inside there. Slap it in, plug this in. Now it fits in the receiver hitch of your truck. You'll notice that it doesn't fit in there, um, go all the way in. And that's for a reason, because these wheels are not highway rated or you don't want to be using these to pull around the job site. So you just simply remove the wheels by removing the bolt right there and remove the head off of here. That way you're just driving around with the cap stands and the motor unit in the receiver hitch your truck. Then you can do your pulls, you can pull out extra wire, say you need an extra 70 feet or something like that or a manhole, something like that. Pull out the extra wire. Go ahead and put your cannon back together. Um, simply slide it around, put this thing back in there. Now you'll notice there's two carriage spots right here on the Canon 10K. There's one there and one there for these receivers. Okay, now what this is for is say we have a need where we have to bolt the tugger down um, uh, like you would with your old tugger. You simply would purchase an extra one of these. Uh, receiver hitch adapters and that will slide in right there. That's a storage point, okay? But the other thing is, is right where the wheels slide in and out, you see this pin right here. Let me remove this here. If you can see this pin right here, that pin slides all the wheels out. Then where the wheels slide in and out, you simply would slide this right in its place and this will give you your four anchoring points when you, if you wanted to bolt this down to the floor um, just bolting it down to the floor. On top of the gearbox there's a QR code so the guys can simply take in the field um, their smartphone click on the QR code and that will take them right to the video setup page this will allow them to view all the different setups that the Canon 10K has available and uh, uh, equate that to the situation that they're in during their wire pulls. Okay, I want to talk to you about the iToolco force gauge. The force gauge is designed to work with the puller only in low speed and this will give you an accurate reading. It's very simple to plug in and use. Simply plug the uh, force gauge into the wall, take your foot switch, plug your foot switch into the um, force gauge and then plug your uh, puller into the foot switch. There, it's that simple. It's ready to go. Now you may need to bump your motor like in the previous video to get it to swap into low speed. You're ready to accurate reading and you're ready for a pull.